Welcome to the class 3 of this free course where we are learning what is algo trading, how to use forex trading boards without wasting any time. Let's begin. Hi and welcome back. In this class, we will discuss all these topics. So let's move to the next one, which is the time machine. Here you see, go to the past trade live. In the time machine, a robot will go back in the past and then trade live. If you not get this concept, I will show you all this on my live screen and do everything step by step in front of you so you could learn properly and you could do by yourself or without any problem. Let's move to the next, which is the time machine is the strategy tester and here where to find you can simply press the control plus R. You can go to the view and strategy tester and key settings. So now let's move to my screen. In the previous class, we downloaded this board and in now we will test it in the time machine. For testing it, move to the MT5 where we already downloaded and installed this board. To start testing this board, I will simply right click on it and press the test. And here the strategy tester will open. You can see here this is the strategy tester. And if you're not able to see the strategy tester, you can simply go here the view and here is the strategy tester so let's move to the settings of this strategy tester here are multiple options like overview settings inputs optimization agents and a journal but here i will be focusing on a setting first of all i will select the expert advisor which i am going to back test the next i need to set the symbol on which symbol i will test it so far now i'm selecting the xau usd gold and the time frame on which time frame i will test let's select the m5 five minute time frame the date yes here are multiple options but i will go with the custom if i select the entire history this will download the all possible and available history from the server and if i use the last month it will use the last month the last year but i will go with the custom period so here is 21 i will select to today and then select first from first of the month to today and for delays i will select the current delay here the 198 ms right now on my account every tick based on reality now i back to the slide the next one which is modeling this is the most important option because the final results are totally based on this modeling method here are main two types the open high low and close if i use open high low and close the speed will be very very high the speed of process the speed of time machine the speed of strategy tester and the accuracy will be medium even not the media in the first test we will do quick checks and in the next we will use the tick by tick data it will slow down the process it will put a heavy load on cpus but the accuracy will be high so now on my screen you see which option is the best here are two options every tick every tick based on real ticks one minute open high low close and open price only math calculation so if i choose every tick it will use just our dummy data and if i use every tick based on real ticks the strategy tester will send a request to the server of broker for history data and then the history will be downloaded from server to this mt5 and then that history will be used to do back testing here is an option to emulate slippage and record so leave as it is everything profit in pips for faster calculation no i will not use this i will not use this option the next is here i will set my balance on which i want to test it i will select just 100 the usd currency i have all these options and the next one is the leverage the same leverage as a broker leverage so let's suppose here the leverage is 100 but the broker's leverage is 1000 i am not able to see 1000 so i will simply put manually 1000 here the next one is optimization for now we are not focusing on the optimization so leave it disabled and yes the visual mode with the display of chart indicators and trades i will start for now with this option on and in the next option here i will select with what settings i will do back testing of this board so for now i am selecting 21 period of moving average i can select 25 i can select 50 or any number but for now i am going to test it with just a 10 moving average period and here are some other settings let me make it a little bit bigger for you all these settings are of this board you can manage risk you can set a take profit grid size the multiplier and in this class we are focusing on how to do back test and i am assuming you already know what these settings are in the next step is the optimization results for now we are not focusing on the optimization process 
here are the agents here are all these cpus or agents i am using to do uh, optimization process and in the journal we will use to see the issues and errors so right now i am going to start with these settings so let's start here you see after some prayers uh, the strategy tester is stopped because the balance is very low it is a usd let's put this hundred dollar into a send account and it will be one thousand here i will select usc i will manually put usc with the digits of two now let's start again and here you will see the trades are opening again and again automatically without any human interaction and it is going very fast from here you can control the speed of backtesting going on from here you can pause and play and here is to stop from here you can increase or decrease the speed and this is to step if you want to see the step each tick by tick here you can check and from here you can select the chart type and that's it i hope you learned these settings now let it work here i realized that there is no profit no loss because the account i am using is not sent account so i will stop it i will again just close this one i'm using a dollar account i will assume these are sent not the usd because the calculations will be happen based on the figures so now start again when i start again now it is opening prayers with a profit and losses and here you can see the balance is going up and down based on these prayers Okay, so the back testing process is completed. I will simply close this one because all the results are here in the back test step. In the start, you may not see this step, but once you have done back testing, you have completed a back testing, you will see this back testing. Here are the results, and in the report, there are a lot of things. Here you see some graphs, some lines, some dots, and these are some values. In the next upcoming class, I will also explain these reports, uh, what these options are, and how to read these reports. And here you see a word optimization in the past we were doing back testing of a report but now we will learn exactly how to do optimization of reports let's move to the mp5 strategy tester here in the strategy tester you see an option that the optimization is disabled now i want to use the optimization option so from these options here is the slow complete algorithm fast genetic based algorithm and all symbols so i will go with the fast genetic based algorithm from here i will select the recovery factor max in the upcoming videos i will explain you all these options one by one and then i will go to the input settings from here you notice that all these boxes are checkable you can check on check any of them okay but if i set it to disable in the input setting these all are checked and not able to check or uncheck any setting so now i will check only those input settings which i want to optimize the optimization is the process of doing a lot of back testings by using the power of cpu automatically not manually in the optimization we set a range let's suppose we test this robot with the moving average setting 10 and i see the results are here again i will select the moving average period like a 30 or maybe 50 so by this way i need to do this option again and again and again i need to do this process uh, a lot of time so what if i want to test this uh, 10 000 times or maybe more than that yes we can do all this with just few clicks let's suppose i want to know the results for multiple values like i want to test from five of moving average i'm going to select here a range start a step and stop i want to start this testing with the moving average value of five and then the step of five and stop reaches of 50 so it will start doing a lot of optimization but right now there are total 10 optimization here you can see all these settings will be used same as it is but for the moving average because i check this box it will use the five in the first testing and complete the back test process and increase this number with the five and that will be 10 and this process will keep going until it reach the 50 value once you set the range uh, simply click on the start and here you see the optimization agents are busy and doing the optimization process okay so once all these are finished and this stop button turn into a start i will go to the optimization tab in this step the optimization results you will see total 10 results and, and each result is with different profit a different number of prayers the different other factors and here on the right side you see input ma period like 15 20 50 40 and all these are tested one by one the other all settings are the same so in the next 
next upcoming class we will discuss uh, these reports in more depth again back to the slides in the next one is the red flags here are a few terms we need to avoid like two perfect car we are not here to find a setting which is giving us a lot of profit we will be focusing on an average result and average profit maybe at this point there are many things you are confused in but in the next upcoming classes everything will be clear and you will be master of doing back testing and optimization process so subscribe now to get a notification whenever i publish the next and next classes go to the next slide uh, which is uh, your home Homework. you need to download your mp5 on your pc you need to go to the mql5 uh, marketplace to find a free robot install into the mp5 if you don't know how to install you can watch the previous class too and after installation process you need to play with this uh, time machine this strategy tester okay once you do start using start playing with these uh, strategy tester and optimizations and robots you will get more and more experience in it now let's move to the next which one is how to make it fast yes you need to use the latest generation cpu use a powerful cloud computing or maybe the advantages work of month you can do in a few days i will strongly recommend to buy your own strong pc you can also hire me to get optimized your trading board for its maximum profitability well let's move to the next one so the troubleshooting here are some problems you may face the first one is you may see no symbol in the list to discuss this let's move to my screen as you know here we select the symbol and for now only two symbols are visible here because in the market watch only two symbols are here so how you can add your usd here you simply need to click here right uh, e u r usd you need to add the your usd that's it you will see the euro usd now here okay you can simply double click on it the euro usd is loaded select time frame and by this way you can work on the euro usd the next problem is no results you may see there is no result in the whole uh, back testing process or maybe the optimization process so how you can fix so first of all you need to check the data depth uh, by checking the journal tab and by checking the expert tab some other problems are like a robot vanished uh, or you need to recompile the ea if you are a developer or you can contact the developer to get the latest uh, recompile if you are using a robot from the mql5 marketplace you can simply delete and download it again or you can also contact its developer and let him know about the error you are facing still facing issues uh, you can book one-on-one -on -one consultation a meeting right now the link is in the description and in the next class we will discuss how you can read the report the backtest report the optimization report how to compare the results how to choose the best settings the best robot and then how to apply that best robot on your live trading demo account all the things will be discussed in the upcoming classes so don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon and for now thank you see you soon in the next video